welcome to our channel my site code diaries so today we are going to see multi site configuration in site core before moving ahead uh, i am jitendra ghanekar i am a site core architect if you have not uh, subscribe to our channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update and if you like the videos please uh, click on like button please share with your friends and do provide your feedback via comment so let's start in this video we are going to see how to set up multi site website what is site definition file how to handle multiple domain how to handle same domain with multiple site so let's see what is multi site website support so site core provides multi site as an out of box feature what do you mean by multi site that we can use this feature in case our client has a number of sites so here we have many sites and he or she is willing to have all on the site core so one site core is to site core and with a multiple sites then using one site core license we can configure all these sites with a minimal effort so basically you will have a one license only and you can have a many sites okay uh, so let me give you an example like a png so png has a lot of products so it can have a one uh, uh, one website uh, one uh, uh, website with a uh, sorry one uh, site core with a multiple website so that kind of a structure where you have a one brand and multiple uh, sites so there you can use a site code because it's a out of box for a feature so in is you can have a three website like website a website b website c okay now this can be accessed like uh, www.websiteA.com which also can be accessed like a www.website.com slash a okay like website b website b.com and you can have a slash b okay uh, you have a website uh, c.com or you can have a dot uh, com slash c here you will see a multiple domain websites okay so this can be three different websites okay but also domains are also different here the domain is the same but there are three different websites so three different brands okay so site could support this configuration you can have all both these three website only in a one site code license or a one site code instance okay but for this where you have a different uh, uh, domain you might need a dns or is configuration for this domain whereas for this uh, you can have n number of website where you can have a same domain so you will need a dns configuration only for the one domain but you can have a multiple brands so here you do not even need IaaS configuration also that is completely handled by the site core on its own okay so this this is support is provided by the website uh, by the site core so uh, this is the out of box feature that's the reason many brands had selects the site core because you can handle it with a one code multiple site multiple websites so this can be used achieve uh, inside inside code this can be achieved using site definition file so you have a defi site definition file which which help you to configure all this with a single site code instance site definition files let's see what is site how uh, what is site definition file and where it is stored okay so default for, for the site definition file is app underscore config slash site code slash cms dot core slash site code dot site dot config okay and the uh, example file is given in the include folder include slash example slash site definition dot config example okay so that is the patch file on the whatever the patches you want to apply there's a sample example given here so if you open that file it will look like something like this where there are already few sites are configured okay so if you observe it first is the shell which is used for the site core backend purpose then you have a login you have a login uh, that is used for the uh, uh, uh the uh, login which is used for the site core login page a uh, service which is used for the site core service uh, uh module underscore websites are used for the modules uh schedulers uh system and publisher are the internal sites which is used and then website so this is very important the website 
is the your front end website that is cd so by default the website is configured here okay so if you see name website that is the default configuration of the site so when you run the default domain whatever site you have hosted on your uh, is if you run that domain the site which run where you will see one uh, the opening welcome page of your uh, uh, site core so that is your website so that is configured as a website here your site name you can see a shell site name is equal to login site name is equal to services module underscore sales uh, website scheduler system publisher so these are the names of the site so they, these many uh, sites are by default site core configured so that uh, site core can run successfully so let's have a look at detailed look on the site definition file okay so if you open the site definition file if you specifically see the site node you will see this kind of a structure you have a site core sites and sites so sites um, will have a different attributes okay uh, so name uh, will is the name of your website okay uh, patches so you, if you, this is a patch file so you need to add the patch b so this patch is if it is a custom patch or maybe your own site definition file then you have to add before your uh, the default one website one if you remember in uh, i think last video only we last to last video we have seen last two videos we have seen about the patches okay so you we have to apply any configuration using the patch if you have not watched that video i will give it the the link in the description you can watch it so that patches uh, we are adding here be after before website okay then we have a virtual folder node okay that is the the prefix to match the income incoming url okay then uh, what what is it mean is if you seen in the first example where you have www.example.com slash a so slash a is your virtual folder physical folder is actual physical folder in your website node a root path is the uh, starting part of your content tree start item is the first pay item of your content tree that is home page then database if you are having the cms then it may be say, master but if it is a cd then it must be the web so uh, there are other configurations also there are a lot of such configuration i, I will give you this link uh, sitecore explore blog uh, wordpress.com it in this uh, link it, they, uh, uh, the author has given the complete details okay let's let's see that once so let's see this uh, uh url thanks to mahindra shikhaut i think this is the this this uh, article gives all the uh, site attributes okay you can you, you can go through it uh, mode name host name target host name port virtual folder physical folder each thing is explained here okay which we can use in the site node okay you can have a look on this i will give this link in the description okay it has given all the details i think you are mahindra shikhaut has done great job here so thanks mahindra let's see how to handle uh, how sitecore handles the multiple domain okay so for the multiple domain there are two uh, things which we have to uh, understand first is the host name another is a target host name host name is a straightforward so in the uh, host name of the incoming url whereas the target host name is the something which is used by the uh, uh, link manager okay we will see what is link manager in one of the separate video but remember now where the link manager generates the link uh, the actual link of your uh, pages okay in that case what is happening is in the host name if i, if I give you example like multiple domains we have example.com www.example dot com my example dot com my new domain dot com so in the host name you give those names like so there are different ways you can provide the uh, uh, host name okay you can use a wild card or you can use the wild card or you can use the pipe separated and you can have a multiple domain so in the multiple domain case here where you have a star and the uh, pipeline uh, separate uh, domains so in, in that case the target host name is important okay so what it does is uh, when you link manager uses this target hostname attribute okay has no value and the hostname attribute has a value then that value does not contain an asterisk character or pipe character then the link manager uses the hostname so either it first of all the link manager uses the uses the target hostname which is given or it uses the hostname okay so if if you want to uh, have a once uh, uh, in one website 
with the multiple domains so same website is accessible by the multiple domain like example.com www.example.com myexample.com mynewdomain.com all these are pointing to the one uh, only one uh, website only okay so in that case you can configure like this you can have a separate site node also but this is the best thing to do where you can have the all the configuration for the same thing and then you have a example.com slash example.com pipe separated you can use a wildcard also here okay so this is how you configure single name uh, single website with a multiple domain okay uh, so target host name is used by the link manager if you want uh, link manager uses this for the uh, uh, resolving the uh, uh, resolving the urls okay we'll see detail in the link manager when we will have a video on the link manager for now you remember that it uses by the it uses the target host name okay for uh, for resolving the any item url if if it is not given then it uses the host name okay provided there is no star or a pipe separated values okay so this is how uh, multiple domains are handled uh, uh, again i'm just revising it i'm just summarizing it multiple domains means one website with a multiple domain so same domain but accessing you are accessing sorry uh, multiple domain but you are accessing the same site that can be handled here by using the host name okay and the host name you can add uh, the multiple domain using the wildcards and pipe separated uh, domains okay like this you see here now let's see same domain multiple site what does it mean like you have a website stexample.com like this you have a, a, a content tree like sitepo slash content slash home you have another website which is which has the same domain sdexample.com but it has a slash a uh, if you access it then it will go to the different website you can see here website a and its node is website a slash home okay so in the content tree uh, then you have a website b okay that is sdexample.com slash b then you can have a slash to be home okay so all these can be uh, accessed via the uh, can be configured via the uh, site core site definition only so you can have a three different uh, 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 sites uh, definition file my site my site b and website and here you can use the virtual folder okay so virtual folder a slash a slash b let's see in the detail how it it is done okay so if you go in detail of my site a and my site b if you see here a virtual folder allows you to create a site definition for a url that doesn't exist on the file system so slash a slash b doesn't exist in the file system okay and instead only uh, virtually but allows you to point it to the different root and start item so let's take an example here my site core a and my site core b here your domain is same okay both the site has the same domain but you have a, a virtual path there okay so that path is given here slash a if you see for a my site and for my site b it is slash b so whatever your domain slash a will access this site my site a and uh, the uh, uh, slash b will access my site b so my if you access a my site a then it will have the root path as site code slash content a website a okay so if you have a different content here okay website a whereas for my site b you have a site code slash content slash website b so it is a second website so it's a different website okay and both will are using the home page so home page is inside a website a whatever the home page is having that will be accessible by the my site a similarly website b slash home will be accessed by the site b so this is how same domain multiple sites so initially first time for in before this we have seen the uh, multiple domain same site but this is different here you have a different site but same domain accessed by the uh, virtual uh, link okay virtually link means that link doesn't exist uh, physically okay slash a and slash b doesn't exist so but this is how you can configure in the site uh, site code it doesn't even require the is configurations also uh, and also the dns configuration okay so we are done for uh, today's uh, video in the next video we are going to see uh, pipelines so what are the pipelines in sitecore what are processors and processes 
example of a pipeline how to write a processor class how to customize existing processor so we, we are going to see these points in the next video so if you like the video please click on a like button please share it with your friends and please provide your comments on the uh, via the comment please subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed and click on a bell icon uh, to get a latest update this is important because i, I there is no uh, no schedule i have over releasing the videos so whenever i will up, uh, upload the video you will get a notification so please click on a bell icon if you have any question you can reach to my gmail id and uh, and uh, linkedin id thank you thanks for watching my video thank you